Hello, my name is Kara Kane, AKA Spiritual Goddess Chick, attracting spiritual goddess chicks. I help women heal who have been affected by addiction. I help them heal, gain confidence, independence, empowerment. Yes, I am talking to you. Yes, you. And that is why I am here right now. I wasn't always this way. No. I was not spiritual goddess chick. I was overweight, depressed, living in despair, needy, sad. I had zero, zero self-worth. Zero self-worth. That's why I really am looking forward to having this conversation about self-worth and worthiness. You see, I am a recovering alcoholic, five plus years sober, and honestly, that tells you right away that I had zero self-worth because I always chose a drink to try to gain confidence or to uh, uh, like lift up any inhibitions that I had so I could kind of just feel comfortable in my own skin yeah that's why I drank because then I would forget everything and I wouldn't care and then I was an asshole <laughs> I was a jerk and I was a single mom, I would go out, be around people, friends, family. A lot of times I would be just like drinking all day long. So yes, trust me when I tell you I had zero self-worth. It is the truth. It is the truth. So in this, in this world, we come into, okay, so just give you a little whoop, swoop in. We come into this world, right? Into these bodies. And our souls are coming here to share our gifts, but also to heal and to grow and to expand and to be more and do more. When we come into this world, we're like, our family or parents or whatever uh, situation that you grew up in might have been you know you might have been eating on a, a silver platter with a silver spoon you might have been struggling and living in poverty wondering how you're going to eat everybody has their story so when we talk about self-worth I don't know if you guys can see it, it flips it anyway so Everything is temporary. 
Are you able to bend your opinion? Yes, opinion. And you are entitled to your opinion. And you, and you, and you, and you. And we can still accept each other having different opinions. No judgment, but be open-minded and have awareness that maybe someone has a better idea. Or maybe if you take a little bit of this information and a little bit of your information, and maybe that makes it even better. Whoop. Okay. So I write down some notes here on my blackboard. Acceptance. Learning to accept who we are, where we are, right now, right in this moment in time. When I think about that, I think about that saying, you know, keep up with the Joneses. Well, we don't have to keep up with anybody, do we? Do you believe what I just said? That you do not have to keep up with anybody? That there is no comparison? So that's the one thing that's very, very detrimental to our, our self-esteem and our self-worth. Is comparison. That is one thing that will trip us up. That moment you you put yourself comparing yourself to somebody else, you're you're setting yourself up for failure. Because there is no one in this world like you, just like you. And there was no one put in this body, your body, with your blueprint with your gifts to share in this moment in time, right now, to share with the world. No one else like you. No one with your gifts. No one with um, your talents. No one. So, Yes, 
opinion. Everyone has an opinion. And it might be different from yours. And you do not have to have that same opinion. That is the cool part about life, is that we are able to have different opinions. And maybe we can, you know, modify, blend them up together, maybe shake it up a little bit. And then mix it. Woo! I'm not the perfect cocktail.
being here. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Share this with your friends. Share this message out. Thank you for being here. I'm super grateful. Karen Kane, a.k.a. Spiritual Goddess Chick, signing off. Oh, it's Tenacious Thursday. I forgot. That's Tenacious K. So, yes, Tenacious K. Peace out. Namaste. Have a great night. Bye.